Hi there, Courtney here, owner of Bubblegum Stuff. In this video, I'm going to be showing you all the British products in the Bubblegum Stuff product range. I feel like I need to pronunciate all my words correctly. Pretty difficult for me, considering I'm from Essex. Anyway, we're going to give it a go. So, first up, we have GCSE, Gemma Collins Secondary Education. Gemma is from the county of Essex, like my good self. And in this game, she and her celebrity pals challenge you to work out the answers of the trivia questions in a GCSE question style. Some categories inside GCSE include geography, German, maths, critical thinking, biology, and my favorite, business studies. And another funny element of this product is that Gemma's on the back of each card and in each subject, posing in a different way. The Gemma one. We don't have to move far from Essex for our next product, as we have here, Dire Dire Pants on Fire. The game contains 56 cards from your favorite cotton geezer. Each card has a quote on there. All you simply have to do is guess if it's a true Danny Dyer quote from one of his TV shows, films, or even his Twitter, or if it's been made up, Pants on Fire. So let's take a look at some examples. Dyer on Evolution. If we didn't have funds, we would never enjoy eating sandwiches. That, that was my Danny Dyer impression there. You've just got to guess if that's true Danny Dyer or Pants on Fire. You'll be pleased to know, of course it's Dyer, you mug. Dyer on vacuum cleaners. Dyer on birds. Dyer on dating. It's the true or false guessing game that encourages you to do your best Danny Dyer impression. Get out of my pub. I said, I said nice one, brother. Next up, we have a product called Weird Crushes British Hunks. This is a product that we received the most publicity about a few years ago when we launched it. It was featured on three TV shows, including Graham Norton, Britain's Got Talent, and Good Morning Britain. The game is based on the traditional card game Top Trumps. It includes 55 of your favorite unconventional hunks on telly. Um, some favorites include Philip Schofield, Professor Brian Cox, Jimmy Carr, Simon Cowell, and Lou Ferru. Each card is rated on sex appeal, charisma, style, likability, and fame. As you can see here, Louis uh, scores incredibly high on sex appeal, but is marked down a little on charisma. Just like any Top Trump style gameplay, you need to choose a category where your card scores highly. After choosing a category, you need to read out the number for that category. If that number's higher than your opponent, you then steal all of their cards, and then you move on to the next card. This continues, until you manage to eliminate all other players from the game. Not only will you have hours of fun playing this game, you'll also find out who your weirdest crushes are. There's plenty of guides in the pack there, so you may know who they are already, or you may find even some new ones. Remember, beauty is in the eye of the beholder, so you may not agree with all the categories on the cards. And also remember, girls, no guys worth falling out over your friend's bottom. Next up, we've got the Boris News Game. 2020 is definitely a year to forget for our Prime Minister. We reckon he'd still prefer to be dangling from a zip line than having to deal with the current crisis. But even before this year, Boris has said some pretty bonkers things. And this game sets you the task of deciding which tropes are actual bojo and which ones are made up. The pack contains 56 cards, half of which are true, half of which are fake news. You simply have to decipher between the two. Some example cards, Boris on promises. It's easy to make promises. It's hard work to keep them. You simply have to guess if that's a true Boris Johnson quote or fake news. That one is true. Boris on laziness. Boris on Tories. Boris on inclusivity. So there you go, the Boris news game. You just have to guess if it's true Boris quote or fake news. Next up, we have a product that features one of our most favorite Britons, David Attenborough. The product is called Brew Planet, and upon it, it's a uh, heat change mug, which features David himself, and depicts a famous scene in the 70s where he was filming with wild gorillas in Africa. Uh, the wild gorillas um, are printed in a black heat change ink. So that means when you pour in hot water, the gorillas sadly disappear. I've got a mug here which shows if hot water would uh, be like inside. The purpose of this mug is to highlight climate change and animals becoming extinct in the wild. Buying this product not only means you'll be taking a sip of tea 
from a TV icon, they will also be helping gorillas in the wild as we donate 10% of profits to a gorilla charity in Central Africa. Lastly, in this section, we've got a game called Great British Monoth. It's a who's most likely to game that celebrates another quintessentially British institution, moaning. Cards contain classic British behaviours, and all you have to do is decide as a group who's most likely to act in that way. For example, who's most likely to complain about the price of a pint yet still pay for it? We've all got a friend that does that, haven't we? Who's most likely to turn 50 shades of red after one day on the beach and proceed to lose their rag if anyone mentions it? What you then have to do is decide who that card applies to and give them that card. The person then keeps that card as a way of keeping score. Or Who's most likely to bring up the Yorkshire pudding debate with Christmas dinner? Well, I'm pretty sure that would be me. I brought that up last Christmas. I stayed at my girlfriend's parents and they said, no, they don't have a Yorkshire pudding. I was disgusted. At the end of the game, whoever has most cards is the winner of the Great British Monarch. They're clearly very good at moaning about things. However, there's an extra element so you can work out what kind of Brit you are. On the back of the cards, you will see that Great Britain is coloured in three different ways. Now, if you've mainly got cards which have got a blue background on it, that means you are quintessentially British Persian. You just love a good old moan. If the card is red, it means that you're chronically awkward. Us Brits just love to be awkward, don't we? And finally, if the card is white, that means you're an incessant complainer. You love to moan about bloody everything. You just can't call yourself a British gamer without this game in your collection. So there you go. They are all the British products in our range. If you'd like to find out any more information about them, the links are below so you can go to our website. Thanks for watching, and I kind of feel like, I'm not too sure how to end this video, maybe, maybe I sing the national anthem. God save our gracious queen, long live our noble queen, God save the queen, da, 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 da. What's the next line? Stumping and glorious, oh, I don't even know the lyrics. Send her victorious, happy and Glorious, long to reign over us, God save the Queen.